All right, so I had originally planned to just do a yellow Vegito showcase today, but then the leaks came out for V-Jump last night and we're getting two new units in Legends. So I was like, well, I gotta talk about that. So I've gone and uh, combined the two ideas and uh, into what we in the industry like to call a double quarter pounder with bacon and cheese. So that's what y'all are getting today, a double quarter pounder with bacon and cheese video. Two in one, a two for one deal. You can thank me later. Now, the leaks, um, we did get a Dokkan leak. Uh, we're getting a new Gohan and Dokkan. So for those of you that play Dokkan, a new Gohan is coming. But for Legends, we are getting a new Turles and a new Goku. So uh, both will probably boost movies, I'd assume. Uh, Turles, like, most definitely will. I'm assuming the Go Goku will as well. He's from the Cooler movie. Um, we don't have very much about him. We know that there are Legends Rising banner that and th they'll be showing up at the end of this month. So keep your eyes peeled towards the end of the month for the new units. Um, the other thing we have is uh, what they translated from their like abilities and kind of tells us, you know, what they do as a unit. So I'll read that here from uh, good old the homie Goresh. Turles increases enemy switch count and delays their key recovery. Special move is the Calamity Blaster. His ultimate arts increases this key recovery and increases damage dealt to the enemy. He excels in technical combat. So that's Tarles. Um, a lot of people are hoping one of these two units will be green, of course, to help deal with the uh, Vegito blue problem. Uh, even if one of these two units are green, like uh, the Kyle Ken was green and no one uses him, like he doesn't help with the Vegito blue problem. I don't think either of these are gonna be the Vegito blue killer, but um, they could definitely be exciting and definitely bring back movies teams, which I really don't like because uh, <clears throat> Bojack is super annoying with that cover change. But uh, the other character, Goku. Goku does extra damage versus regen. Every time he uses a Strike Arts card, he increases the power of his special move. His special move is the Dragon Destruction Fist that approaches the enemy at high speed. So that's Goku and Turles, the little we know about them. Um, if you run movies or you want to run movies again, this is exciting news for you all, as I'm, again, pretty sure most uh, definitely both will boost movies for Z ability. And uh, yeah, that's all we really got, but look out for them on a rising banner at the end of the month. Now, let's jump on into the Yellow Vegito Showcase. All right, so if you're thinking, should I get Yellow Vegito? Uh, my answer would be yes. Um, this banner, is it the greatest? No, most everyone besides Yellow Vegito, and I guess I'd say Hit, sales not bad either but are pretty trash. Absolute doo-doo, especially that yellow Gohan. So um, I'm not sure if this is quite the banner you wanna go for him. Um, you are guaranteed a sparking uh, for every multi. At the last steps, you get at least one sparking. You have, a, there's 10 sparkings if I remember right. So you have about a 10% chance since all the sparkings have the same rate um, of getting yellow Vegito. So there's that, you know, it's, it's up to you if you wanna go, go for that. Yellow Vegito is a monster though. He's probably my favorite unit to use in this game. I actually only pulled him one time, Uno, um, which was on when he originally came out with Broly and Chilai, and that was a Legends Rising 999 banner. So he had 999 Z power instead of the normal 600. So he came at three stars and I have boosted him up with Z power all the way to nine. So me and him have been on a long journey together. And at nine, um, he's got about 230 blast in base state, uh, base form. Blast is his main, uh, he's stronger at Blast in base form. But then once you transform, dude becomes an all around beast. He uh, has about 270 strikes. So every punch is him dropping a bomb, a nuclear weapon on your opponent, especially if they're a purple. Um, his Blast is also mid 260s, so it's right there. And his blue card, um, when you're pre-transformation, it's a big bang. Um, it's like a blast, you know, if they try to blast attack you, you can just shoot it through. When he transforms, his blue is the spirit sword. He uh, has the blast armor, so he just flies through blasts and slices and dices them into a nice uh, filet mignon for uh, your opponent to eat as they cry themselves after their loss. And uh, his green card before transforming gives him health and then uh, some key. And then when he transforms, his green card is so OP they could use their um, special, literally about any attack, I'm pretty sure, except I don't remember against Kamehameha or like blast specials. 
maybe it doesn't fly through those. It's been a while since I tried one against that, so my memory is a bit fuzzy. But basically everything else, even Rising Rushes, they could hit Rising Rush and you hit your green with Yellow Vegito when he's transformed. It just shoots the blast at him, knocks him back. You can stop Rising Rushes, basically everything with it. It knocks him back and then you can go combo them and it gives you key. So it's super OP. But now it's time we jump into some battles. <sighs> Who we got? Future, 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 future. She belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. And uh, we're rocking our Kefla VB. Uh, transforming Yellow Vegito. Those are the three I run. I have Super Vegito V's two stars. I feel like he just really doesn't do that much damage. Even though his cover change is nice. If Yellow Vegito had a cover change, a strike cover change, he'd be perfect. But he doesn't. Uh, I still enjoy him though. They start with Zami and they banish and they catch us. Beautiful start. All right, he's not doing much. And there's the blasts. Those are what do the damage for Zamasu. And he's a type advantage. And we're gonna gain back some health here with Kefla. He's gonna tap us since he used his Vanish. Swap into Trunksu. Trunksu. Now we have to try and bait him because every single human being I feel at this point loves to sit in the back to just perfect Vanish because that's so much fun for everyone. And great, caught. I really didn't do much though, actually. A lot less than up, there's the Vanish. But we catch him, let's go. Now it's time, although Zamasu may be back soon. I don't know. Uh, yep, there he is. Speak of the devil himself. All right, if he's got a blue, I'm gonna have to switch here. He does not, he has a green though. He's stealing my key, taking my key for himself. And he instantly swaps to Vegeta, interesting. Um, he's gonna sit around the back like an absolute loser. Blast, 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 blast. All right, come on, we'll, let's win this, come on. Trash, but we win. Trash, but we win. Oh, I didn't think we were gonna win, but now I have nothing to attack with. I don't wanna use that uh, Kefla's main when hitting him back on a Dokabaki. And here we go again, just the non-stop. I hate these people the most. But we slice right through those blasts and let's give Trunks a taste of good old Kefla. I have a feeling Zamisu may be coming though, so there he is, yep. I knew he was gonna try and stop me with his uh, strike, but we caught him, maybe we can get a faint. Of course not. Nope. I've seen one faint in Kefla in like my past 9 million uses. He died, and that's tough. We knock him back, but then I drop it because I'm an idiot. I feel like everyone's always going to banish on those. And here comes Vegeta. We're going to need to swap though, or else we're going to die because he's going to activate his main. He does not activate it in time. And there's the Rising Rush! Sick! Um, let's go Blue. Blueski. Blue Skadamus. I haven't seen him use one, so hopefully it's a Blue Skadamus, baby! Got him, and let's start going here. Let's start this. There's the Trunksu, so we're just gonna drop this and let Vegito gain back that health with that green. A little, you know, gotta loosen up the neck a bit. Get ready for battle. Oh. And are we going to catch him with the tackle? That is the question. No, we do not. And he tap attacks, because tap attacks are the most annoying thing on the planet. Oh, he thinks he caught us. Nope. Here we go. Can we kill Trunks? Yellow Vegito does drop some bombs, and I would like to not swap to Vegito Blue since Kefla's already dead. Let's see if we can drop some booms. Yep, we should be able to kill Trunks here without using our main. And then we'll activate our main, gain back the Vanish. And we gotta try and bait Zami. Oh, we got him. Let's go, and a kill shot. Oh, brings in Vegeta. And it's still a kill shot! Kill Vegeta's so OP, man. This dude is just unfair, and he's gonna tap, yep, there. Oh, no, an actual attack, I thought that was a tap. All right, well, let's bring in Vegeta Blue, because I'm sure he's gonna activate his main ability. There it is. Oh, he's using it right now. Is that gonna kill me, though? I don't know, it may. It very well may kill Vegeta Blue. Either way, um, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a van. Oh, it does kill him, jeez. Pretty sure he does not have a Vanish, and we tap that, so no blue for you. And, oh, he did have a Vanish, okay, I was wrong. I was mistaken. I was gonna try and just tackle him to start it. Thank God we did that, since he's... Oh, okay, no blue, sick. No blue, please. Let's have him drop, okay, that's it, that's game. That's game, set, match. Let's play it safe here, and the kill shot. Woo! And Vegito says, oh, says you forfeit with like half of a second left. I don't even understand that. Why would you, why forfeit? It's not even an LF, like, 
what's the purpose of forfeiting? Um, you've lost me, but on to the next battle, I suppose. All right, second match, and it's a fusions battle, a duel of the fusions. <sighs> Who will win this epic clash of the titans? Hopefully me. Hopefully it'll be me. I mean, if you're seeing it in the video, um, it is me, because I've never lost, actually. Never in my entire life. One on one, I'm undefeated. Never lost. And let's continue it right now. Kepler be Kepler. And great, he's launching a blue right off the bat. Sick. Ooh, we catch him, though. I do fear, though, that yellow, uh, oh, uh, not yellow, I was going to say purple Super Vegito, and there he is. But because he went out and uh, disabled or destroyed my cards with that blue, I was able to get a blast, and I was able to catch him trying to uh, catch me lacking with a strike. I see your little games, buddy. Tapper. I just love the people that just vanish instead, man. The tappers are so annoying. And Kefla's back. All right, well, let's toss my Kefla in there to get bodied. Oh. Not doing that. Oh, we vanish. Good. And we catch them. Side stepping, baby. We catch him leaning. And he shouldn't be able to bring in Super Vegito anytime soon. Uh, you know. Let's uh let's just guarantee it here. If he does. There he is, yep. See? You gotta be playing ahead, man. You gotta be predicting these things. Because people love to throw their cover changes at you. And you gotta faint them? No, of course not. But let's give Kefla some health. Unlock that Rising Rush for when they inevitably rise and rush me. Are we going to be able to banish this? We are. And there's the tap attack. Sick, sick, sick. And, all right. I was hoping he'd blast or strike. He did not. No big deal, though. He dropped it, and he's going to die here. Gonzo. Gone like the wind. Gone with the wind, I think, is the actual movie. Um, there's the attack. We vanish. And now Kefla's going to be gone with the wind, too. Vegito bodying two souls right off the bat. Now it's Vegito versus Vegito. I mean, we still have all three, but the point of this is to showcase Yelgito, so let's get him to. Nope, doesn't vanish. Catches this very last second, actually. So we're gonna swap out here because I'd rather not lose Yellow Vegito in this video trying to showcase him. He can throw all he wants at Kefla. The Rising Rush will probably come at some point. Oh, he may kill us, actually. And he does. That's a kill. Yep, Yelgito's a god. Now we have Vegito Blue in here. Um, just gonna try and perfect vanish me, most likely. And there he goes. Oh, the Rising Rush, even better. Sick, okay. Well, um, uh, hopefully he strikes us, I guess. I don't know. Strike, strike a Daz. Nope, it's a blue, great. Well, just like that, Yellow Cheeto has taken out two characters. But now he used his vanish, and he already used his main. And, uh, yeah, so let's see how much of this does. Yelgito on Yelgito Crime. That's like three-fourths health right there. And he vanishes and catches us. Okay, that's kind of worrying, actually. Hopefully he does not have a blue. Although I'm pretty sure his is not nine, if I'm remembering right. Okay. I maybe shouldn't have played around with that blue there, trying to test how powerful it is. Okay, let's run out of cards or key here, my man. There's the tap. All right, I don't know why you do that. That Oh, there's another tap. God, I hate this when they just keep trying to tap. Yep, see you later, kid. See you later. And now you're the third victim of Yelgito this battle. Um, yeah, uh, that's it. The, that's our little showcase here. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you're excited about the leaks, let me know down below. If you pulled Yellow Vegito, let me know in the comments down below. If you have not yet and you're trying to get him, uh, I'm sending you my luck because I love Yellow Vegito and uh, you all can get him even though, you know, you won't be nine stars. So I'm not even worried about y'all, you know, but uh, no, for real, best of luck to you guys in trying to get Yellow Vegito. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new guys. And uh, as always, hope y'all are staying happy and healthy and I'll catch y'all tomorrow.